Marco, the blood of an adventurer courses through your veins. Well, I was a MTV VJ for a couple of years, and I always loved acting, I always loved movies. And um, after a period of time being a host, I decided to to, to switch, and that's how I got into movies. But ever since I was like three or four years old, I love performing, I love, I, I played piano, I sing. So I think it's all kind of in my, in my blood. But my, my father, as a Chinese father, he always wanted me to learn more maths, learn more science, and then that's how I majored in electrical engineering. <laughs> and then, but I'm happy eventually I get to, you know, chase my own dream and become became an actress. Well, the process was, uh, it, it went for a while. So I think first when I got into the, the audition room, casting office was last year in about, uh, during like August. Um, and then I went in, I read the part, I did the, the audition, but I didn't expect much. I know this part was competing, um, like a lot of actresses was competing for the part. They were casting all over the world. Um, so after two months, I didn't really hear anything. I, I just get on with my life. And then I got a phone call from the casting director saying the show creator, John Fusco, is coming to Beijing and he would like to meet a couple of actresses that was, um, uh, that was um, in the tape. So that's how I, I first met up with John and we had a really um, delightful conversation about Marco Polo, about Coco Chin, about, um, about a lot of things. So, but after that meeting, I also didn't hear back in a couple of months until the next year, I think around February, um, I was making dumplings at home with my mom because we were preparing the Chinese New Year. And they called me saying, Juju, can you fly to Malaysia tomorrow? Which is the Chinese New Year. <laughs> and then that's when, um, and then I thought for like probably one second and I said, okay. <laughs> so I flew to Malaysia and I met up with uh, Yukaman Espen and we did uh, and the final audition in the office with the directors um, about uh, f with the actual scene and another actor. And I think after that they had they probably had several candidates for the final round and they they voted for me. Well, um, I didn't do a lot of action in the show, but um, I wrote ho I wrote horse and I did archery. So um, I I did probably about two months uh, riding horses every day for two hours. Well, the before we start shooting, I arrive in Malaysia two months in advance, and every day our schedule was like seven seven thirty pick up pick up in the morning, and they would when we go to um, physical training a little bit physical and kung fu training, and then uh, uh, with dialogue coach for two hours, and then lunch break, and two hours horseback riding, and an hour archery, and then come back to come back home around five. So that, that was our schedule for two months before we start shooting. We filmed in Kazakhstan, and um, so the, the battle scene, that was real. That was, uh, it was really in a, in a, like a huge landscape um, with hundreds of soldiers and, and also the scene that you saw with uh, me and Marco met each other under the poplar tree in the middle of nowhere, it's also real. So yeah, it was, it was massive landscape, no green screen. <laughs> I'm a fan of uh, Wes Anderson. Okay. <laughs> I love Wes Anderson movies. Mm -hmm. I watch all of them. My favorite is Rushmore, and uh, I love um, um, Miss Fan Fantastic, Fantastic Mr. Fox. I love Royal Tenenbaum, and um, I love Moonrise Kingdom and the Grand Budapest Hotel. I'm Excellent. a huge fan of his, and I love his style too.